welcome to episode 16, sweet 16 of Good News Movement this week. I'm Christian, your Good News Correspondent, and as always, I'm here to bring you some sweet, sweet, fresh, good news. This first story is out of a Hollywood movie. An SOS written in the sand saved three Island Pacific Mariners. The men set out on boat from Pulawat to Pulop Atolls in Micronesia when they went off course and ran out of fuel. They landed on the tiny, uninhabited Piccolot Island, 118 miles from their destination. The men and their SOS sign made out of palm tree branches assembled on the beach were first spotted by a U.S. Air Force KC-135 tanker operating out of Anderson Air Force Base on Guam after searching for three hours and just before wrapping up their search effort. The men were eventually rescued by a helicopter from the Royal Australian Navy. Wow, that is incredible! Our next story comes out of Lexington, Virginia. When Betty fell and broke her hip, neighbors stepped in to offer to help. One Good News Movement follower stepped into action and called a contractor for an estimate. The company Virginia Infrastructure amazingly told him the cost would be zero dollars. They got to work shortly after and now Betty has a new walkway and driveway. She says, I still can't believe it. Our final story comes out of Palermo, Italy. Giuseppe Paterno, el estudiante più anciano d'Italia. Giuseppe si è laureato in storia e filosofia preso l'Ateneo di Palermo alla veneranda età di 96 anni. L'uomo ha ammesso che in gioventù non ha potuto dedicarsi allo studio in maniera opportuna. Congratulazioni Giuseppe! Well, that's it! This is Christian Figueroa reporting for Good News Movement because we are the good news!